after Congress leader Rahul Gandhi openly endorsed IUML and branded them a secular political body during his US tour, the organization has once again come into the limelight and not for good reasons at all. During a rally by the youth wing of the Indian Union Muslim League in Kerala's Kasargod, the cadre of the party openly threatened Hindus and raised slogans against the community. After the undated video surfaced, BJP has cornered the IUML and Congress for propagating anti-India sentiments. The BJP has also alleged that the Pinari government was backing IUML and therefore its workers dared to go this far. After a massive political storm, IUML has now sacked the worker who raised these slogans during the rally. However, the BJP is adamant on its demand that stringent action be taken against the accused. The BJP has also slammed Rahul Gandhi for backing parties that threaten to bleed into. Well, before we open this up for debate, let us recall what Rahul Gandhi had said endorsing the IUML from Washington. You talked about secularism and democracy while opposing the Hindu party BJP. However, Congress in Kerala has been in alliance with the Muslim party, Muslim League in Kerala, the state of the state from which you are you were for MP for more than I'm sorry, the state you are the MP for more than 70 years. Muslim the, Muslim League is a completely secular party. Right. right. There's nothing um, there's nothing non-secular about the okay. Muslim League. Questions are a little disjointed. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I think the person doesn't hasn't studied the Muslim League. You're watching the News Hour at nine. Debate number two on Times Now. Super Prime Time. Joining me on the debate with Shahzad Poonawala and Dr. Ranganathan is E.T. Mohammad Bashir, Member of Parliament in the Lok Sabha from the IUML. Also joining me tonight, Abdul Razak Khan, political analyst. Uh, and uh, Abdul Razak Khan, my question to you. Will you call the IUML secular and uh, actually support Mr. Rahul Gandhi? Because Mr. Rahul Gandhi said there is nothing non-secular about the Muslim League. After the statements that have been made uh, at a rally yesterday, would you still stand by that comment? And you will call everybody else in this country communal, but not the Muslim League? No, 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 no. Navika ji, IUML is a secular party, but there are some people who may have made these kind of statements and they are expelled from the party. The party has very clearly said, IUML has clearly said that this is not our stand. And that is the reason why they have expelled. On the other side, Amit Malviyaji, before tweeting, he has to introspect his own party. What did Yogi Adityanath say about Muslims? Hum to aap ek maro, hum ek so what about Muslim women? What did Adityanath ji say? And what did Anand Kumar Hegde say? You look at Hindu women, we will cut your hands. What are the statements made by Anurag Thakur? Can I give you an endless list of these kind of statements made by BJP leaders on love jihad, on conversions? Come on. There are people, some people out of, you know, excitement, go ahead, make these kind of statements. And they are in BJP as well. Modi ji ko to sirf bura laga tha, jab Nathuram Godse ko patriot kaha gaya tha. So these kind of statements come out from party MPs. Abdul Razak Khan, what action did aap to aise, aap to aise bol rahe, jaise Muslim League ne pehli baar aisa kuch kiya ho. Kader of Muslim League, they have been convicted for the murder of eight Hindus uh, uh, in uh, uh, an earlier, uh, 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 you know, an, in an earlier uh, situation as well. And there have been several issues. Uh, this was the Marad Beach massacre so. in 2003. Also, in the, the uh, Afzal Guru hanging there, case, they said, in they the said in their there, editorial that uh, not as an Indian citizen, but as a Kashmir terrorist with a Muslim identity and rejected the claims against Afzal Guru. I, I want to ask you, uh, Shahzad Poonawala, Mr. Rahul Gandhi and all those who support him cannot see anything wrong with the Muslim League, but they find everything wrong with the majority community in this uh, country, as well as the BJP, which they say is a communal part. Uh, first of all, Navika, in this i.n.d.i.a, it is not dot, it is doubt. Because in every letter, they have a doubt. And one of the doubts is on the second i, whether it is inclusive. Now, a 
पार्टी विच इज ओपनली एडवोकेटिंग फॉर शरिया विच ओपनली बैट्स फॉर टेरिस्ट विच ओपनली सेज दैट द जेनोसाइड ऑफ हिंदू शुड टेक प्लेस अकॉर्डिंग टू राहुल गांधी इज बोथ सेक्युलर एंड इंक्लूसिव एंड देफ ऑर द क्वेश्चन टूडे इज दैट वॉट विल इट टेक फॉर राहुल गांधी टू कम आउट एंड टेल अस दैट इज दिस दी आइडिया ऑफ आई डॉट इन डॉट डी डॉट आई डॉट ए बट वाई वी सरप्राइज हिज भारत जोड़ो यात्रा स्टार्टेड विद जॉर्ज पोनैया हु वॉन्टेड टू फर एप्स हैव द सेम व्यू अबाउट हिंदू सेट आई डोंट वॉक ऑन भारत माता विदाउट शूज बिकॉज इट इज डर्टी ही देन हैड समबडी हु हैड कट द काउ एंड द काफ ओपनली इन केरला देन दिस इज अ मैन विच हैज गिवन ट्वेल्व बिगेस्ट राइट्स इंक्लूडिंग द सी क्राइट्स दैट टूक प्लेस इन डेली एंड इन दैट द नारा वॉज के बड़ा पेड़ घिरता है तो धरती हिलती है इफ दिस इज देर आइडिया ऑफ इंक्लूसिविटी एंड सेक्युलरिज्म आई जस्ट हैव वन फाइनल क्वेश्चन फॉर अब्दुल रजाक हु इज द फाउंडर ऑफ आई यू एम एल वन मोहम्मद इस्माइल एंड मिस्टर मोहम्मद इस्माइल वॉज अपोज बाई होम जवाहरलाल नेहरू बिकॉज ही वॉज रेमिनेंट ऑफ जिन्नाज यूनियन जुन्नाज मुस्लिम नेहरू वॉज रॉन्ग एंड राहुल इज राइट If it comes to anti-national statements, they have come from BJP leaders as well. Are anti-national, anti-global? Chodi, who is the founder of IUML? Talk about your leaders. Who is the founder of IUML and what was Nehru stand on? Talk about Yogi Adityanath and his. Abhijit, who is the founder of IUML? Let me get in. Let me one minute, gentlemen. Let me get in, Mr. Bashir. Mr. Bashir, Mr. Bashir, I want to ask you this question. In 2016. you have said that zakir naik is an advocate of peace today killing indians uh, killing hindus burning them alive and all kinds of hate speeches that have been made in the rally yesterday do you support even those statements see my duty is to explain what exactly has happened yesterday yesterday at kanjangani or kasur there was a position that it was an all kerala kind of position in expressing our solidarity with this uh, suffering people in uh, manipur in that one guy uh, shouted a slogan which was condemnable actually in fact we agree that so what we did is we removed him the party the best uh, the highest uh, punishment we can give is to remove from the party we did it in addition to that I would like to say that its president, uh, Manavar Ali Shah Tangal, issued a statement in which I will just read you to, that will eradicate all of your doubts. Statement is like this: It has been noticed that hateful slogans were raised during the solidarity rally organized by uh, Muslim Youth League at uh, uh, Kajangar. It is not the policy of the Muslim League to create hatred. or enmity between different religious groups and it is the basic principle of the party that every worker should be prepared to create rapport and friendship those who work against the ideals of the party and those who work in the way that harms religious harmony will not Fantastic. be tolerated in the organization Anandanathan, the slogan here has been expelled first mistake expelled action the party. taken no, no, no. please don't do interfere. not call no, 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 the muslim leagues let any of the no, names no, no. Let, let that complete. that don't, have been no, no. called you are having some other intention no no let me complete let me complete let me complete that is the justification we express our deep regret on the provocative slogan raised by the individual in our position now it's very clear anand, i'm just 10 uh, seconds anand just 10 seconds anand 10 seconds please 10 seconds anand 10 seconds, anand, 10 seconds. Please, 10 seconds. Anand, 10 seconds. Anand, 10 seconds. thousands of uh, navika 10 seconds no, no, with permission no, no. from anand yeah, you, you let, let navika me just 10 seconds me because anand has to speak just 10 no, seconds no, no, intervention no 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 I, uh, navika just 10 seconds from the mp okay i'm i'm running out of time 10 seconds shahzad punawala allowed yeah 10 seconds just 10 seconds 10 seconds anand has come the iuml state secretary pms salam supported the convicts in the marad massacre the jamaat asked iuml to clarify its stand it is not one two persons it is the entire theological ideological basis of this party that it cannot Anand do Rangana. with kafirs apparently sir that is there in bjp as well this statement Anand, that is Anand there Rangana. in bjp What? as well this statement is navika fair. can i please uh, i do not interrupt everyone is a faders anand ranganathan yes Anand yes Rangana thank you navika very quickly <laughs> yes for, okay 45 seconds so 5 uh, seconds of those 45 will be used to refute the fake news spread by mr abdul razak khan when he says iuml is not part of the alliance i am not quoting times of india because he won't believe it that's why i am quoting for him al jazeera this is al jazeera says iuml is very much part of the india alliance 
Now number two, as far as IUML spokesperson Mr. Bashir is concerned here, very simply, just 10 seconds, Navika, he is talking of hateful slogans and people being removed from IUML because of hateful slogans. Just one question to him. Do you believe Mr. Bashir or do you not? Simple yes and no. That the following slogan is hateful. Yes and no. Do not take disbelievers as friends unless they convert and I... kill them if they refuse. No, no. Say yes or no. Is it well, hateful? well, 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 well. See, why should you? That's a longer some... debate. That's a longer debate, Anand Ranganathan. But, but for now, for now, it's not a question of one incident. It is a question of the Muslim League very often crossing the line. And if this is the idea of India that they want to preach, then who will give them the certificate that Rahul Gandhi did about being a secular party? That's the question. Thank you very much to all my panelists and thank you viewers for joining me on the news tonight. Good night and be safe.